Hello! Tonight we are reading The Elves and the Shoemaker. Again, a small book. These Christmas ones are often a little smaller than normal. Once there was an old shoemaker who worked day after day in his shop, making fine leather shoes. But he was very poor, and there came a time when he had only enough leather left to make one more pair of shoes. Just before bedtime, the shoemaker cut out the leather. I will make the shoes tomorrow, he told his wife, and he left the pieces on his workbench. The next morning, the shoemaker came back to his workbench. There sat the shoes, already made. Where did these come from? The shoemaker cried. But he was very pleased, for the shoes were lovely. Right away, he put them in the window of his shop. Soon a customer came in. I would like these fine shoes, she said, and gave the shoemaker ten gold coins. So the shoemaker bought more leather, enough to make two pairs of shoes. That night, the shoemaker cut the new leather. Once again, he left it on his workbench to finish the next day. And what do you think? When the shoemaker came down the next morning, there sat two pairs of beautiful new shoes, all finished for him. Soon everyone knew of the shoemaker's wonderful shoes. The shoemaker kept buying more leather. Each night he cut it out, and each morning he found the shoes finished and waiting for him. In no time at all, the shoemaker's shop was busy, busy, busy. By Christmas time, the shoemaker and his wife were very rich indeed, but still they wondered who was helping them. One night, they decided to stay up and see for themselves, so they hid and waited, and waited, and waited. At midnight, two tiny elves wearing raggedy old clothes skipped into the shop. They went right to work, stitching and hammering and stitching and hammering. When all the shoes were made, they hurried off. These poor little elves have made us rich, said the shoemaker. We must find a way to thank them. They will surely catch cold in those old shoes, old clothes, said his wife. Let's make them new clothes and shoes for Christmas. On Christmas Eve, the shoemaker and his wife left the presents on the workbench. At midnight, the elves arrived. How surprised they were to find the tiny shoes and brand new clothes. They quickly put them on. Then they laughed and sang and danced right out the door. The shoemaker and his wife had a very merry Christmas that year. And though they never saw the elves again, they were happy and lucky as long as they lived. Thanks for reading. Have a good night.